The chief of army staff, um, Lieutenant General Farouk Yahaya, has organized a second management workshop for army project officers. The workshop, which kicked off at the Nigerian Army School of Military Engineering in Makodi, will refresh participants on global trends in construction management and enhance the value of the profession. Mayo Akwato reports. This is the second project management workshop in the year 2022. The theme of this workshop is enhancing global practices in project delivery in Nigerian Army. Next summer program for this. The anticipated outcomes for the workshop is to give a better understanding on the development of infrastructure in the Nigerian Army. This, the Nigerian Army School of Military Engineering aims to pursue in order to implement the second initiative of enhancing capacity come 2023. The workshop is designed to ensure active involvement by every participant. Hence, participants have been grouped into syndicates for the purpose of providing solutions to take home assignments and exercises that will be given at the end of each presentation. This informed the theme for this workshop, which is enhancing global best practices in project delivery in the Nigerian Army. The Chief of Army Staff is represented by the Commander Corps of Engineers. He stresses the importance of timely and efficient delivery of projects as it charges project officers not to compromise on quality while ensuring projects are given fine and modern finishes. The overall objective is to promote timely delivery of high quality projects for the Nigerian Army. It is my belief that this workshop will offer an opportunity to appraise previous performances in project constructions with a view to achieving better outcomes with limited resources. This vision is centered on four cardinal pillars, namely professionalism, readiness, administration, and cooperation. The workshop will feature several presentations, a discussion session, and a demonstration in line with the theme and objectives it is designed for. Mayawa Okwato, TVC News, Makodi.